This is the primitive root calculator for masscelebrity.com. There's two ways you can get there. The first is typing primitive roots, like so. Or if you know your problem, you can just enter in something like this. You could say is 3 a primitive root of 7, or is 3 primitive root of 7. So you basically type your two numbers. You don't need a question mark. It doesn't have to be asked exactly like this. You just need your two numbers and primitive roots. So go ahead and press the calculator or return key. So if you're on the calculator, this is P and this is B, in case you're entering your numbers here and not running a shortcut. So it asks, is 3 a primitive root of 7? It says if P is prime, then B is a primitive root of P if the powers of B include all of the residue classes mod P. So we go through, we start at N1 and we go to N minus 1, which is 6. And then we run B to the N minus 1 for each each iteration. And then we calculate B to the N minus 1 mod P. Now, if you want to see the math on this, I'll open this up real quickly. Like we'll click click this one. This is 3 squared mod 7, and it'll run the problem for you. This is our modular exponentiation calculator, which we do have a video for, too. And it comes up with 2. So if you want to see more on this calculator, you can go and watch that video. But we pull this answer here to show you the math. So that's how we got 2 right here. So we got links for each iteration. Now, as you can see, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And because we've achieved all values 1 to 6, then 3 is a primitive root of 7. So what about, let's say, 21 and 5? We'll do primitive root check. So now, because 21 is not a prime number, the calculator lets you know that that's an error. We're not, you can't do a primitive root without a prime number for P, which is good. So it checked it. Let's do 5 and 23. Okay, so 23 is a prime number. So we go through our 21 steps. As I showed you before, here's a link back to our modular exponentiation calculator, and we calculate all of our uh, residue values. Because, again, we achieved 1 through 22, then 5 is a primitive root of 23. Now let's try 7. And again, we got all 122 values of of uh, 7 is a primitive root of 23. Now, let's go to shortcuts here. If we, let's try another prime number. Let's try 47. So we'll go down, go down. Okay, here's a, an example of when we did not receive all residue values. So we never got uh, 7 to the b minus 1 mod P that resulted in a value of 5, 10, 11, etc. So here's all the values we missed. Because we missed at least one value, 7 is not a primitive root of 47. So pretty cool feature of the calculator. It will check for you either way. One other feature we do have is generate practice problem button. You press that once, it'll generate a completely random practice problem for you. Press it again, it'll generate another problem. And then when you're ready, you press primitive root check and it'll run that particular practice problem for you. There's a lot of steps here. 2011. So we'll go ahead, go down, go down, go down, go down. And because we achieved all our values, 7 is a primitive root of 2011, which is great. If you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the Contact Us link. Thanks for watching.